Hey guys, I thought I would bring you down to the beach today. It just got through raining and a big old thunderstorm, but it's still really pretty. And we'll get down here and turn the camera around. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me go ahead and do that. We're on the sound side, the intercoastal waterway. This is where I have grown up. So this is a Saturday afternoon, about one o'clock. And it looks like it's about almost high tide. Down that way is if you go around it will be connecting to the ocean it's the jetty where you go into the ocean so you would kind of go around and then over this way if you go over those houses and over the next houses that is the ocean here comes somebody oh my goodness they're doing the wave wave board. My dad used to take us to do that. It's beautiful. I kind of like it after it's rained. It's so fresh. So you can see it's still kind of dark down there. Gosh, the sun is like beaming down on my head. It's so pretty. I've told you before, I love marinas and boats and stuff so I love coming down here and looking at all the boats it's more towards town over that way so I wanted to do a quick video today just telling you guys something I feel like I should tell you before I go any further and that is not only what I eat, which I've already pretty much gone through that, but when I eat, because that's so, so important. And I really didn't realize that until I started doing this, and now it's just magic. So let me find a good place that I can sit down. Okay, so I hope you can hear me. Let me get this. I thought I would use my camera today instead of my phone. They always say the phone is so much better, but I don't know. Sometimes I just think the camera's better. Anyway, should I take off my... This is another reason I love these sunglasses is because I can do that. But if you don't mind, I'm going to keep my sunglasses on because it's so bright and sunny. All of you guys have heard of intermittent fasting, and I've done it before too. And I, you know, in, in, I thought I had a good, you know, successful time with it, but all these diets and things that you can think of that you've done in the past it hasn't been successful if you didn't stay with it and that is what i think is going to be so different for you if you go along this journey with me it's just so different so when i first started this i was eating just meat and i apologize for the traffic i was eating just meat and then and you guys know why it's because I have issues with eating vegetables so always keep that in mind just because don't do as I say not as I do and so I was doing that and then I noticed that it's I mean even after like a week I just wasn't hungry I certainly wasn't hungry in the morning and then when it got to be around lunchtime I really wasn't hungry then the more I read the more I watched Dr. Berg the more I realized th the value of intermittent fasting. So I'm gonna put my favorite, there's three people that I love to watch, especially when they talk about intermittent fasting, and each one has a different thing I like about them. And that's what I want to do, is I know everyone can watch these videos. I'm not a doctor. Everyone can, you know, 
look at the videos I'm looking at or read things that I'm looking at, but let me do that. Let me take the time to do that and then you don't have to take that time. And I feel like I want to pick out the things that pertain more to us, not to a man, not to a girl that is uh, 20 or 30. I want to pick out the things that pertain to 40, 50, 60, 70 year old women, especially 40s and 50s because it's all about the hormones. It's all about the menopause. It's just, that's just, it's just all about it. Let me find those for us because I love it. I love it and there's nothing more. When I wake up in the morning, I cannot wait to get upstairs and start. I like to watch some fashion videos. I like to watch some makeup videos if I see one. And then I'll start reading about this stuff. So let me do that for us. Anyway, so I will put the three people that I think just do the best videos on intermittent fasting. And they just so much makes sense now to why it didn't work for me in the past and just the importance of it working now. I'm gonna throw out this word that I want you to read about. And the word is autophagy. And just read all about that. You will be amazed at what your body can do in the fasting state. So that's something I'm gonna put the meaning and put some good things down below for you to read about, but just read about that. I was talking to John about that this morning. Okay, another thing is when you are eating healthy fats and a good meal that satisfies you, you are not going to get hungry as fast. Like for instance, even when I would do Atkins, it was nothing for me to go to Chick-fil-A and get the nuggets, the chicken breast nuggets. Okay, that is not gonna, for one thing, it's not gonna satisfy you. They're not as tasty. It's not gonna satisfy you as much as something with healthy fats. Maybe if you put some, um, something with it, like maybe some bacon or some um, avocado, just some, some type of healthy fats, but just like I was doing, just the nuggets, they were not keeping me full. They weren't as satisfying. They just weren't keeping me full and I would be hungrier longer. But now that I'm eating my healthy fats, it fills me up and it's just like a box that is checked off. It's like, okay, I've had lunch. Now I can go on with my day. I feel satisfied. I'm not stressing over my next snack. I mean, that is another thing. That is such a myth of how to lose weight is to eat all these little meals. Now, keep in mind, I'm talking about women like us that have the insulin and the hormones out of whack. I mean, maybe when I was in my, even at 40, I could probably do that. But I'm telling you, right about 45, that it just stopped. I feel like the world has just opened up to me again, and I'm gonna talk about that in a different video. John and I had a long talk on the porch this morning. We were out there admiring his work. He redid, we got our porch um, redone, the wood and everything. He painted the columns. He redid the stain on the ceiling and he replaced our ceiling fans. We were supposed to have a painter do it and he never could make it. So we were out there and we just, you know, I just started talking to him about just the change in my life. And, you know, it just, does my heart so good now to tell him good things and to tell him how good I feel and how happy I am and you know we eat totally different and I really I'm not gonna push my way of eating on him but I really think he would feel better too because he does a lot of snacking at night so let me get into that I do not eat my first meal of the day until around two o'clock the way I came up with that time is that is naturally when I'm hungry is right around two o'clock. So I will eat one of the things that I told you that I like to eat, either leftovers from the night before, could be a burger, could be a steak, could be chicken thighs. It's something yummy. And you know, I'm trying to put in the vegetables. Okay, then we eat around, we start our cooking and everything around five o'clock and my last meal is gonna be around six o'clock. So I am just done with eating by about 6.30. I don't think about it again. I brush my teeth, I put my Invisalign in, 
and so my body has from that point all the way until the next day at two o'clock to burn fat to regenerate to just do all these healthy things for my body and there's just something so different this time about me losing weight than ever i eat, i feel like i look different i'm losing weight different it's just totally different the waves are coming in because a boat just went by so that's what when i was little we used to love walking all under all of the piers because we find good like sea urchins and crabs and all kinds we take our buckets and our nets and catch all kinds of stuff back to intermittent fasting that is a big part of keto a big part especially if you really want to boost your weight loss and your fat burning but more than that i think it's just so healthy and i think it's so there's so many advantages to it that I, I really want you to, to learn about that. And I felt like before I could really even go any further on anything that I talked to you guys about, I really needed to tell you that because that's such a big deal. So anyway, there's all kinds of people down here at the other piers. So let me think if there's anything else I want to tell you. Oh, I was gonna tell you how John, you know, a lot of times he'll grill me a steak and then he will grill like a little piece of salmon or a little Beyond Burger, and then we sit down and eat. Well, he's back in the kitchen by, I don't know, like an hour later or two hours later, and he's eating, he's got a little bag of his sugar-free cookies. Um, he's eating some type of bread or crackers or healthy chips, like he gets the low-fat chips and stuff like that. Okay, he's a man, he can do that. I don't think it's really that healthy. I think it would be healthier for him to eat a little bit better and not, you know, the processed things. But, you know, I don't want him telling me to how to eat, so I'm not gonna tell him how to eat. But the reason we can't do that is because when you are a menopausal woman, before, after, during, whatever, you're insulin resistant. And we've got to just do things different than we ever have. Those sugar-free cookies, they might be sugar-free, but they would spike my insulin. All of that junk that is in them would irritate my stomach. I mean, I've tried it. I've been there, I've done it, you know? And so I just, I'm gonna put down below my favorite videos on intermittent fasting with the keto and all of the different just advantages there are with it and read that for me and just see what you think. And if you have any good tips, I want you guys to help me and I want to help you. I want this all to do it together. And I really want you to feel like I do. And it's not about your looks. It's about how you feel. Like I said, I haven't, I want to get into this more because I just talked to John about it this morning and he was so surprised in the way I had been feeling the past five years. I mean, he didn't even know it because I didn't want to talk to him about it because it's just not something I just felt like I should discuss with him. And or some things I didn't even know I was feeling. You know, you don't have to have a big tummy. You don't have to settle. You know, that was something I read when I looked up articles about losing belly fat and my midsection getting so bigger. It was like a big, I don't know, it wasn't WebMD, but it might have been like, Healthline or one of those websites that I had looked up and it said one of the things you can do is just accept it. Just accept that you're gonna have a different body than you've ever had. You're gonna eat half of what you used to eat but yet gain weight every year. You're gonna feel terrible and don't feel like yourself. I mean, that was what they said, it's accepted. And I just don't think you have to. So do me a favor, read about intermittent fasting with keto. And I'm gonna do something funny. I'm gonna stand up and do an outfit of the day. Hold on. I don't know if you guys can see my outfit. See all the girls on the front? That's the thing. As we would all know someone, usually with a big boat, and then they go out to an island and they park and everybody parties. Now I wasn't partying because I've never liked to drink. 
but anyway, they're having a good time, no matter what. <laughs> the free people dress that I showed you guys months ago, my Javianas, it's been raining, so I didn't want to wear anything too, you know, that I had to worry about too much. So this is it. Hey, okay, you guys, I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this little trip to the beach. I hope you do many more little trips around town. Maybe I'll take you down to the river one day. And I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.